Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a self-care video. Now, this is kind of like an updated nighttime routine for me. One day out of the week, I always love to just pamper myself and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite products that I like to use when I do this. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing I like to do after a long day of working is I like to start with whitening my teeth. Now this is something that I do once or twice um, a month. I don't like to do it often because my teeth are on the sensitive side. So I've actually started using these whitening strips. These are from the brand Ollie. And one of the reasons that I really like them is that it's travel friendly. You can just put this in your purse. You can take it with you uh, when you go traveling or if you're gonna be heading over to a friend's house or you want to just do a last minute touch up. I really, really like these. So I'll come in close so you guys can see the packaging. So each actual package comes with four treatments and it looks something like this. You can whiten your teeth on the go. It's easy to use and easy to apply. Another great thing about Ollie is they have subscription plans. They make it easy to transform your smile and maintain a great white smile. I recommend annual plan with my special limited time discount. It is less than $7 a month to have a white smile year round. I know how important a wider smile is, so get yourself Ollie. Check out our special link and code in the description box for an awesome discount. So if you have sensitive teeth, I also recommend these. You can leave them on for 30 minutes. You could do it once a week up to four times a month and you definitely will maintain your white shiny smile. I am an avid coffee drinker and tea drinker and as much as I take care of my teeth, they still get a little bit yellow over time and that's just going to happen naturally. So it's really nice that Ollie has a product that is really great and perfect for traveling or on the go. So definitely check out Ollie below. I'll leave the link so you guys can go check out their teeth whitening products. Now let's move on. Okay, so the next thing to really get myself in the mood to relax, I always love to light a candle. And this one I've been burning nonstop lately. So this candle is Albert and Amandine, and it's the Relax Sandalwood and Jasmine. And let me come in close so you guys can see the packaging. So this is what it looks like. So I can't say enough good things about this. It smells divine, it smells so good. So firstly, this would make for such a cute little gift for a birthday, you can never go wrong with a candle. And I just love the packaging, it's got like this wooden little top, you know, up here, just nice details on the top. And then you open it up and you guys can see it is actually a three wick candle, which I really like, it has a nice slow burn. It smells amazing, it smells like sandalwood and jasmine. It smells woodsy and flowery at the same time. And it's just a really nice candle for a really good price. This is a 13 ounce candle and the burning time is approximately 30 hours. So I definitely love to burn a candle, especially when I'm taking a bath. I love to just kind of relax with a candle and just kind of de-stress with all these amazing smells. And they do also have some other really good scents too, so definitely check them out. All right, moving on. So I told you guys that I love to take baths. So this is something I like to do at least once or twice a month. Whenever I'm doing like a full self-care routine, this is what I love to do. So this one is from Era Organics and this is their Dead Sea Salt Epsom salt essential oil bath blend. So this one specifically targets sore muscles, stiff joints, aching feet, damaged skin, and inflammation. So you guys can see that. So it's really easy to use. All you have to do is apply one to two scoops into your bath and you can use more if needed. Um, and you just gently enjoy being massaged and exfoliated. And the smell is also really, really nice. Um, it just kind of relaxes you. Again, I like more like fresh bath scents, not really fruity. Um, more floral and kind of just fresh. This one smells kind of like the ocean, so I really like that. Um, but yeah, just like if you work out a lot or you're constantly on your feet at work, it's really nice to kind of give your body kind of like its own massage. So again, this one is from Era Organics. I've been really loving their products lately and I have a few others that I will show you guys in a little bit. So after I'm done taking a bath, I usually like to rinse off and just kind of get the excess off and then continue with my self-care routine, which involves a cleanser. So I really like to take care of my skin when I'm doing kind of like a self-care routine, just because I feel like that's the best way that I can pamper myself. 
So I've been using this cleanser. This one is from Kors. It's their Greek yogurt cleanser. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, so this is 5.07 fluid ounce, so you definitely get a good decent size and I really really like their products I've already tried some of their mask and facial scrubs and stuff like that This one's really nice if you have sensitive skin It really just cleans away any impurities any dirt bacteria on my skin It is a foaming cleanser which I actually like because I feel like I can really just get a deep clean with it um, so I like to kind of start with this. I've also noticed that this helps brighten my skin and just overall even out the skin tone. Sometimes I have a little bit of redness, um, but this one just definitely is my go-to recently. Okay, so after I do my cleanser and I finish up in the shower, I always love to put on a mask. This one is from Air Organics and it's their Revive Micro Dermabrasion Manuka Honey Walnut Scrub and Mask. So it looks something like this. It's really cute little baby size, but you definitely only need a little bit. A little bit goes along the way with this. Um, this one just smells really, really nice. Looks something like this. You guys can see that. So it's just a walnut scrub with a little bit of honey to give you some added moisture, but it's just really great exfoliating. If you don't exfoliate your skin, you need to start. So you can use this two ways. You can either use it as just an exfoliant where you would leave it on for one to two minutes and then you would exfoliate it off. Or you can use it as a mask. You would just leave it on for five minutes and then rinse it off. So I like to do both. It really helps remove any of those bumps that are on the surface. It really just gives a deep clean and exfoliates any blackheads on the surface. Um, and just overall just smooths out your skin, makes it baby soft. So definitely love to use this at least once or twice a week, uh, depending on my skin. Sometimes, depending on the weather, it's more dry or more oily, but this definitely does the trick with that. Okay, so moving on to serums. After I've done my mask, I love to kind of put some moisture back into my skin. Sometimes masks can be a little bit drying if you keep them on too long. Um, but just to rehydrate my skin, I've been using this. It's also from Kors, and it's their Wild Rose Vitamin C Serum. So it looks something like this. So if you guys can actually see on the bottom, there's like these little rose petals. Super cool. So it's just like a simple, you know, applicator that you can use. And I just need a couple drops, like two, three drops is all I need. And I just gently pat into my skin and you just have the most glowing, moisturizing skin you could ever want. And this is something that you could use um, in the morning or evening, whatever you want. Sometimes I just want some extra hydration and this one's just been doing wonders for my skin. I actually tend to use this on a daily basis. Um, it's really great to have a vitamin C serum that you could use um, every day, to be honest, before you apply your moisturizer. So I highly recommend that you pick up a vitamin C serum. So with this serum, I've actually noticed just overall brightness and my pores being reduced. Those are the two things that I look for in a vitamin C serum is just overall healthy glow and also just my skin tone being more evened out and my pores shrinking and just having just a more even kind of clean baby face. All right, so when I'm kind of almost at the end of my self-care routine, I like to kind of get ready for bed. These are things that I'm kind of doing to kind of get ready for bed. So firstly, I always like to put on deodorant, um, even if I'm sleeping at night, because I know that I sweat at night. Sometimes I won't have time to shower in the morning or I just want to feel fresh. So this one is from Era Organics as well, and this is their natural deodorant. Men and women can both use it. And I've just been liking more natural deodorants lately. I think for my body type, this is what my body responds to. Deodorant is kind of like a tricky, subjective thing where certain body types might not respond well to it. Um, but I always think like the more natural ingredients, the better your body will respond more. So I really like this one. It has sunflower oil, Shea butter, coconut oil, cacao butter, lemon oil, and rosemary leaf. And then it's also aluminum free, non-toxic. It's talc free, paraben free, and cruelty free. So it definitely is a brand that I really like because it focuses on not only just the environment, but just overall clean beauty products. And this one has just kind of like a natural lemony scent. That's kind of what it smells like. Just like fresh and lemon and clean. Um, I don't really like deodorants that have too much of a scent because I do end up wearing perfume and I don't want them to kind of like clash or just be too overwhelming with the smell. So I really like something that's just clean and fresh. So I like to use this right before bed. All right, the next product, this one is from Kors and I've just been loving their products. They have so many fantastic products and I really like that they make collections based by scent. 
So this one is their guava body butter and they make all different types of scents that match the body showers, the lotions, so I really like that. So if you're someone who just likes one scent, you can literally buy all their products in that one scent. So I really like that. But this one is my go-to. I do have a little bit of eczema um, and I get little bumps on my legs and then also my arms. And this one's just been helping with that tremendously. I take really hot showers and I sometimes get lazy and I don't put lotion on. But this one, like I definitely enjoy putting it on because it smells really good goes on really nice and thick and creamy, but it doesn't take forever to blend in. Um, so definitely check this one out. This one is their guava one. It smells like just tropical, like I'm on a Hawaii vacation, almost like papaya. I guess that's what guava smells like too. Um, but again, they have so many other good scents. But yeah, this is definitely my go-to. Anytime I take a shower, I just need to quickly moisturize. It's super nice, especially after you shave, you can put this on and your legs just feel amazing. Um, so that's usually what I use right before bed as well. Okay, so the last product, this one is actually a supplement. Now I don't really take too many supplements just because my body tends to not respond well. I get like breakouts or allergies when I have too many vitamins. So I like to stick to like a probiotic and like a daily vitamin if that. Um, but this one is from Better Beauty. So this one's just for hair, skin, and nails. Those are all the things that I really need anyways. Um, so I just like to take these one right before bed. I just like to pop one of these in just so I get my vitamins in for the day and just you know help with my hair growth, make my nails stronger. And they also have other vitamins too if you're looking uh, for you know other like B12 or energy or stuff like that. And also if you have any allergies, this one does not have any gluten, sweeteners, milk, lactose, soy, wheat, yeast, any of those things because I wouldn't want that in my supplement either. So I appreciate that they also paid attention to those details. So this is the Better Beauty Supplements by Better Me. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun sharing with you guys some of my favorite products that I like to use to give myself a little good pampering once in a while. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will also leave all the links to all the products that I mentioned just in case you wanna go check them out or purchase any of them. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.